What's up everyone, this is Hadi here and Apple released macOS 15.1 Sequoia sometime yesterday, about let's say 14 hours ago and they are copying new features Apple released including those following Apple intelligence or should I say the first few features of Apple intelligence. The build number of this update is 24B83 and it came at around 4 point something or 3 point something gig depending on which build you are moving to but I came from macOS 15.0.1 to this update. Initially I came to an RC though yeah but I ended up seeing that the RC build was the same as the final stable build that was released yesterday. So you notice something new by the left Apple intelligence and to be able to use Apple Intelligence at the moment, you need to be using English United States. Some of this will support it in the future, but right now it's just this that supports it. Yeah, because ideally, I know my keyboard is English US, but I speak English UK and I write English UK. Yeah, but I had to set it over to English US. Now, Apple Intelligence is supported on every single MacBook with Apple Silicon. Yeah, that spans from the M1 across to the new M4 and the M4 iMac that I released yesterday. Something also new that's close by is in the battery section. Let's try turning on low power mode. You can see it shows a yellow icon. Yeah, and we get this new energy mode icon that lets us turn on our low power mode and turn it off ideally it's supposed to keep staying there as a shortcut instead of having to come back here to you know turn it on and off so i think this is kind of a bug because i tried out an earlier i think beta 2 or 3 of mac os 15.1 and i could just turn this and come back and turn it back on but yeah definitely a bug there is no reason for that shortcut to appear. Now over to Apple Intelligence. The first set of Apple Intelligence features you look at is in Notes. We have a new proofreader. Let's check out how it works. Apple Intelligence icon right here in the top bar and proofread. Yeah, it scans through every single thing and zero changes seems my typing was perfect in this case proofreading helps to correct errors in your text and it suggests new changes you can either press done after it applies them or you can revert back to how you want it to be and the proofreading of course would proofread it to english united states so i feel like if you use english united kingdom you might feel like you have wrong spellings for some words like colors for instance you know it's spelled colors and color with a u in the other country so you feel me we also have other writing tools we have the ability to rewrite we can make our writing professional friendly concise you can also create summaries key points lists so let's turn these key points Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So it checked what I wrote and it created three key points out of four initial recipe points. There are many other features in proofreading and rewriting, but they are kind of boring. So let's move on to something else. You would notice this new Siri icon. Yeah, let me show you how it works it's richer and it doesn't really have that screen wide animation yet but you can trigger it by clicking command twice command command there it is or if you hold the microphone icon that's on the function row yeah it makes that nice apple integer sound with the glow let's test it out though how do i change the wallpaper on my mac You see that, right? Nice and glowy, although more intelligent. It's supposed to have more conversation context and it's supposed to have richer language understanding. I think Apple increased the language understanding support for the new Siri powered by Apple Intelligence. Very cool features in photos, as a matter of fact. This is an image and 
let's try out the apple intelligence features yep edits and we have cleanup so with cleanup now it's supposed to download something here initially so you might see that on your own mark so let's try cleaning up something like this weed or whatever that is on the house let's cycle it and see if it can get rid of it wow very impressive really impressive okay how about we get rid of this whole tree let's see i do not see this doing well but let's see how far you can take it did he reject that i think he just did reject it <laughs> looks like it's more limited than i thought but let's get rid of the window uh, not perfect though but on the way it's getting there yeah this shouldn't be there but after all it's a bit though so there is room for improvement yeah let's reset that i want my stuff back so in photos we can also get better context when we are trying to search for stuff let's see trees this shouldn't be there though yeah i am not a tree in any way but this is a tree this is a tree there is a tree in the background of these pictures i took yeah pretty close but i don't see okay yeah there are trees here actually yeah there are trees here we also have one nice feature in apple intelligence where you can also hide your face on pictures so let's pick this for instance mm -hmm. download from icloud a sec there yeah that's done so let's edit and use cleanup when you use it like to brush your face it gets rid of your face so if you're trying to hide yourself or hide someone from a picture you can just use it and it works so let's see it in action okay that's it pixelated my face i would have liked if it followed the kind of curve though but still did the job reset that can ruin my good picture from 2022 or one i think in apple intelligence there is also something called notification summary couldn't really get a screenshot in there when i was setting it up though but this is how it looks you can see here i got a couple messages on telegram yeah and they were up to six and you can see this icon that means your notifications were stacked together and summarized each of them was summarized so you don't have to read through the whole gibberish you just pick what's important for the sake of apple intelligence we also have this new feature called reduce interruptions it's a focus mode as a matter of fact yeah and it's on every device with apple intelligence you might see this on your iphone without apple intelligence due to the ecosystem with your mac so but it won't really have the apple intelligence support there it will just be like plain old focus that doesn't really allow anything so it's quite useless on an iphone with apple intelligence but we have apple intelligence on the mac so this is what it does it intelligently allows important notifications to interrupt you and silence notifications determined not to be important any notification specifically allowed or silenced will always be allowed or silenced. You can also select people and apps that will be allowed regardless of, you know, whatever scenario you are trying to set with this focus mode. In mail, there's also something called mail summary. Where is that mail? Yeah, and in mail summary, you begin to see stuff like this. It summarizes the whole gibberish and the whole log mail like you can see this mail for instance yeah from my bank but you just summarize it so what's important it's like kind of preview yeah it just previews it technically so there's nothing special there although it's apple intelligence according to them you can also see this yep summarized from the full blah 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 
summarize to that. Finally, in the App Store, there is something new on Mac OS Sequoia 15.1. Where is it? You can now install games on your external drive. Yeah, you find it in App Store settings. Download and install large apps to a separate disk. So apps larger than one gigabyte will download and install to a disk you choose. So this is very nice for people like me that use a 5 6 gig MacBook. Although I wouldn't recommend you to do that. Yeah, you can imagine the hell I go through as a creator doing that. So we can do that, but not at the moment though. So technically that's everything we have, and I'll see you guys around.